Hello class. Uh, today we are talking about uh, uh, how to how to make the auto reverse forward by two timer. CFPA Asumarashi Training Center. So we have the two contactors and the two timers and the hour relay. This one is a relay. This one is a timer one. This one is a timer two. So we have the two contactors. The contactor number one and the contactor number two. So I want to show you how you can wire yourself, how you can wire yourself auto reverse forward by two timer. So this is our base. So we have a base for relay, base for timer, and another timer. So we have a number one and number two. This is our stopper and uh, NC, mean normal close. Number three, number four is a NO, mean normal open. So this is our neutral, and the our neutral is going on a two, on a two of base, base of relay, on a two of the base of timer number one, two of timer number two, and the audio is going on the A1, A, A2, sorry, and the A2 of contactor, because on a contactor we have the A2 and the A1. So now I want to show how you can wire yourself. Uh, auto reverse forward by two timer so the power enter number one number two number three number four four year is going on a seven seven eight eight one now we know eight just controller six and five and the one controller four and the three now this number six is in is our normal open number five is a number uh, normal close number four is a normal close number three is a normal open now, number three for normal open, it just comes straight on a timer number two. You put on a eight because we know eight just controller six and a five. Six normal open, five normal close. Now, now timer number two, we connect on a normal close number five, just comes straight to timer number one. You connect a one, two, and sorry, one, seven, and eight. So, one controller four and three. And the eight controller six and a five. This six and a five, six is a normal open, five is a normal close. After that, number five for normal close to timer number one, it just go to NC. This NC for contactor is a number 22. 22 of contactor. Now NC here is a 21. This 21 you connected for A1 of contactor number two. After that, you never finish operation. You come and get number six of timer one. This number six, it comes straight to number two of contactor. Number two of contactor. Six, it just come to number 22 of contactor. And then this one, the 21, is go to A1 of contactor number one. So after that, we already know four, it just comes seven, eight, and one and the three here is going on a six this six is a normal open five normal close four normal close three normal uh, open now what we left this is our neutral from the from the gp it just come we connect a, a, a number two of timer number timer number two we connect the two on the off base timer number one we connect it uh, number two of relay so we make a loop we come on the A2, A2 of contactor. We look, we come on the A2 of contactor. So for our contactor, we have L1, L2, L3. So the out is a T1, T2, T3. So NO, this is a normal open, normal open. So the normal open one is the number 13 of contactor. And another one, normal open is the number 14 of contactor. NC1 is the number 21 of contactor. Uh, NC another one is the number 22 of contactor. So now to operate it here, so this one will be reverse forward by two timer will be auto. This one is waiting for its time. When it's finished its time, it's go to another time. That time when it's finished is changing. So that one we say is a auto. How to make a auto reverse for forward by two timer? So if you follow this drawing, no any problem, you connect. And then everything will work 100%. If you want, 
you can subscribe if you want you must follow this drawing you can see yourself thank you very much everyone